Hello everyone, it's the Shadow Gamer, and welcome to my Let's Play mini-series, which will focus on games developed by trans people. So, games that I'm going to be looking at are all games that were made by different trans people or genderqueer people, etc. Uh, along that persuasion. Um, and looking kind of at characters in the game. They might be a more personal character or just, you know, a kind of a general character um, exploring trans issues. So, why did I specifically look for these games? Uh, firstly, because it is a school project. I needed to do something for my transgender study course, but also because uh, the gaming world doesn't really have a lot of very good representation when it comes to trans characters, and I think it's a really great way to kind of work with that by looking at games directly developed by trans people and see what they create, to see how that can be integrated into other games in the world. So, uh, all of these games are games that I've never played before, so my reactions are going to be genuine, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, so in that sense, it is a semi-blind Let's Play. But I do have some background knowledge about the developers and also what the game kind of entails. So I will let you know how much I know. So for our first game, we're going to play Mainichi, uh, which is Japanese for every day. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, uh, which was created by Maddie Bryce. Uh, she is a game critic, mostly, does a lot of writing about criticism games when it comes to social justice issues, but she also develops and makes her own games in the case of this game. So this game, um, as far as I know, is kind of a personal relation to her everyday life. Uh, so let's get started. I did have some problems with this game, as in I can't get it to go full screen without it being really weird and flickery so it's going to be kind of a tiny little tiny little screen so i'm sorry about that but here we go okay here we are looks like we're in a little house um uh, since there's no voice acting, I'll just read this aloud in case people have difficulties reading or seeing because it's so small. Looks like I still have a couple hours before meeting up for copy. Probably I should start getting ready soon. Okay. Uh, down? Okay, no, that didn't work. Enter. Or I could be lazy and take a nap until then. Tempting. I agree. I love naps. I should try being more positive today. Sounds like she has difficulty being positive. Okay, so how do I... Okay, spacebar. I don't get enough sleep these days. Nap, do something else. Okay, our first choice. Should we nap? I don't think so. I think we'll do something else. Because I feel like we just got up. Maybe? I don't know why we're in our room. I should hurry and get ready. Okay. I can't look in my little bookcase. I should bathe before getting dressed. Okay. Well, here we are. Uh, I think this is my little house. I do have some time to spare. Maybe I can get away with playing a video game before I leave. I do like video games. Uh, pretty sure I have some food in the fridge. Okay. Well, let's eat first. Eating's good. Haven't been eating well lately. Maybe I can sneak in some food before leaving? Yeah, grab some leftovers. Let's warm this up. Mmm? Peach curry chicken. Thank God for slow cookers. Okay, I had a little happy musical note there, so I made some smart decisions, I think. Um, let's bathe. Let's just get ready and then maybe we'll play a video game. I should go take a bath before I put on makeup. I really shouldn't leave the house without some makeup. Okay? Oh, wait. That's the toilet. Okay. Hmm. Time to bathe and shave before going out. 
Jumping, yeah. God. How is it so cold this time of year? I'll never get it. Ooh, that's a good idea for a game. Ow. Not the knee again. Ah, the water was so warm. Well, it sounds like she cut her knee while shaving, which is really annoying if none of you have ever shaved before. It's only coffee with friend, but I probably should put on my face before leaving. Uh, sure, why not, if she wants to wear makeup. Just think of it like painting. Once you start, you can't go back, really. That's also kind of true, if none of you put on makeup before. There, I look like me again. Looks like it's time to go. Don't want to keep her waiting. Hold on, I have to get dressed. Foolish people. Oh, well. I guess we're not getting dressed. I took too long. What am I wearing? Am I just wearing my pajamas? Well, I guess we're going to go out. Okay. So we're in this little road thing. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Can I talk to people? It doesn't look like it. I think... Oh my god. Look. Is that a boy or a girl? Rude. Shh. They'll hear you. But isn't that gross? Um, excuse me. Very rude. Oh gosh. Street harassment is gross. What's up, pretty? Hey, slow down. I want to talk to you. Holy shit, you're a man? Fuck. That's someone's son. God, this person... Do you see it? Watch out for that man. Man! Jesus! Just leave her alone. She doesn't want to deal with you. How about across the street? Can I go up? No. Where am I supposed to... Where am I supposed to be going for this coffee? Yeah, street harassment sucks. That's just not cool. Not nice whatsoever. Oh, okay, I think this is where I was supposed to go. Okay, now we're in the coffee shop. Is that my friend? Hey, Maddie. I'm over here. Coming. Uh, wait, should I just... That way, okay, there we go. Hey there, hon. Do you mind getting me coffee while I finish up this call? You know my favorite. Sure, why not? Okay. Hello there. Um, can I get something started for you? May I please have a hazelnut latte and a chai? No problem. Paying with cash or card today? Uh, does it matter? I will just pay with the card. Here you go. Thank you very much, Miss... Er, Mr. Bryce. Um, your drink will be at the other end. Okay, how hard is it to use gender-neutral stuff? This is one thing that I swear is a true challenge. Uh, wait, do I need to talk to this person? Okay, it's that cute barista. Uh, catch his attention, sneak away when you can. Hmm, he is cute. But also, he could end up being really rude, and that would be kind of upsetting. Hey there. How's it going? Oh, hi, dude. Not bad. Are these your drinks? Yeah, thanks. No prob. So, did I take the drinks? Am I going to meet my friend? This is just really upsetting. Caffeine delivery. Just in time. Hey, you're looking crushed. What's the matter? You know, the usual. It's hard to heal, feel happy sometimes. So sad. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Maybe... 
you should consider a therapist. I mean, I've read some success stories about taking hormones, and I think you do great on them. I wish I didn't have to change myself. Why was the other person so frustrated? Hmm. So it seems like the game just kind of starts over uh, at the beginning. It just kind of loops. Well, that was really interesting and also pretty sad because it's just not fair. Street harassment is the worst, and then not only do you have to deal with random people on the street, but then people you directly have to interact with every day, you know, baristas, etc., are just kind of rude. And even her friend kind of seemed to upset her. Uh, so yeah, that's just a... This is a very nice little well-done game that just kind of does show, you know, the everyday aspect of how you have to interact with the world. Um, I think if you play through it again, it would assume that no matter what you did, you would still have the same kind of negative reactions. You know, no matter how dressed up and pretty she is, everybody's still going to kind of be negative. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, so feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Bye!